Hey, I'm back <laughs> on another audition. In the script that I have for the audition, there's a line about, are they here? They're coming over. But it never explains who they are or how the characters feel about them. So, in this case, it's up to me to make that up. Again, it's making decisions. I've talked about this before. I'm gonna make something up. I'm probably not gonna be right. It's probably gonna be nothing like what's actually in the commercial, but it will give me motivation and it will cause emotion in me if I come up with somebody that's going to be at the door, the person that's coming over. That's another aspect of preparing a character for an audition. It's a Christmas commercial, it, and it's a commercial, so I'm making my decision, I'm making my guess. I'm gonna say it's Santa Claus they're waiting for. I don't know if I'm right, but it's a unique, definite choice. I'll let you know whether or not I was right on the way back. Here we are. See you on the other side. <sighs> ah, it's over. This one is, not, acting's never over, ever. Leaving the audition again, I'm feeling pretty good, but I've said that about my last two auditions, and I haven't heard back from those. So, which is also something to keep in mind. If you think you did a really bad audition, I'd say, once I, I ta I'll talk to you once the sun gets out of the way so I can, so my face doesn't look all distorted and shiny. Like I have a glowing beard. Um, oh boy. Mm, audition, at least nothing. Mm. What if I sit down low and tip this down that way? And so, wow, just half my face is lit. This just isn't working. So, new vantage point, because the sun. It's the sun's fault. <laughs> I've heard that before. There were actually three people, three of us, in the room, including me. Um, and they split up the lines between three of the auditioners. That's a word. They split up the lines differently between the three of us, because the script was just written for two people. And it was it was just a unique experience to to interact with three people, or two, I would interact with two other people in the scene, considering I had planned out that what I had in my head was just for two people. Now that didn't really change much how I performed, except for the you know, changing, changing focus. Um, but it that kind of that goes to show that even if you come up with a really specific character, it applies to a large number of situations. I didn't expect for there to be three three people in that room, but the character I had developed and the situation I had developed wasn't it 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 still fit. It didn't no longer apply to the audition. I'd say 90%, maybe 80% of the jobs that I've actually been cast for, I felt relatively uncomfortable, un unconfident about the audition. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but a lot of the time when I, when I walk out of an audition room and go, eh, well, that was okay, that's the one that gets the role. Um, now that, and that's not every time, and that's also not to say that every time you walk out of an audition and go, eh, that was okay, you're gonna get the part, because that's not true. I think the statistic is, uh, every 30 auditions you go on, 30, 3 zero, every, every, for every 30 auditions you go on, you will be cast in one. That's about the average, I believe. That's meant as an encouragement. If you if you're not super excited about how the audition turned out, don't give up. <laughs> so all in all, be prepared for the situation in an audition to change. You an audition and even even a job itself is never set in stone until you've until you're totally done with it. You never know what's going to happen in the audition until you've walked out of the room. Um, and same with same with a film or a commercial, you never know, you, even after you, even sometimes after you filmed it, you don't know if it, if you're done with it yet, if it's actually going to go to air, if there are 
pickups that need to be done. Um, there was a commercial I did once where I was cast, and I and we we filmed it. We we did the entire thing. We got paid for the day. Uh, so we we finished and, and we filmed it, and we thought we were done. And a, a month or so later, we got a call from the same people saying, "Hey, can you come do this again?" Essentially. Um, so I went back, and there was I was the only person who was the same. I w there everyone else cast and crew was different. I came back and filmed it, and that was the one that actually ended up being aired. At, you can check it out right here. Um, but that just goes to show you never know whether or not a pro you've actually done it until you're watching the finished product. And even in some cases, then it's it's not it's not done. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this helped. If you have any questions, suggestions, or corrections, please comment down below and let me know. I'd really like to hear from you and, and start a conversation with you. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Here we go. I figured it out. Sort of. That'll work decently for now. Um, lost my train of thought. Do you remember what all of that I was saying? Rats. Once I, I talk, I'll talk to you once the sun gets out of the way, so I can, so my face doesn't look all distorted and shiny. It's like I have a glowing beard right now, and glowing beards are just weird. No offense to Rhett and Link, because Rhett and Link did a, a, a music video where Rhett's beard was glowing, which was pretty cool. But I don't need, I don't have a beard, so I don't need a glowing beard. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Yeah. Okay, there's not gonna be much shade for a while, is there?